back to the channel. Another day in the life of a reseller. Been uh, a tired day. Woke up, uh, got home after the morning. We spent the night at my sister-in-law's and uh, drove here, stopped at Costco, got some groceries, finally made it home about one o'clock and uh, tried to get all my photos uploaded to the computer. He had a lot of uh, photos I took yesterday, had a wedding and then a, a, a music video shoot and then uh, went south for a live music performance at uh, the Nectar. So there was a lot going on, had to get it all organized and of course uh, by the time I got home, I was tired so I took a little nap so that happens but now I'm up from the nap and trying to get a hold of uh, the day trying to get some listings done tonight to figure out what sold on eBay as well as dealing with all these photos I did get my uh, day in the life of a reseller vlog posted um, before I took my nap before I crashed out but um, now I got to deal with all that live music footage and as well as uh, the wedding photos and uh, other footage that was captured at uh, Nectar and uh, at the video shoot so I'm gonna be working through some of that stuff getting it all figured out today but I also have to focus a little bit on eBay so that the bills get paid right I've got some uh, items here on the counter uh, ready to be listed the stuff that I had taken photos of before I left for all that action yesterday uh, let me show you at these die cost cars to photos taken of them had them ready this medal as well this is a woman's basketball medal a vintage medal and then this button and this little magnet I think it is it's a little uh, hard rock cafe motorcycle magnet pretty cool little thing and uh, this metal or put button the metal and then the cars yeah I guess Tori T Spade Holloman has another photo shoot today I was gonna try to make it down there but uh, uh, again, that nap took me out of things, so hopefully he has a good time getting that shot today, getting that uh, footage and getting those videos out to you guys. I guess he's making a decision to put some music out, finally uh, get it out to the ears of all the folks, so uh, hopefully that goes well for him. Yeah, I guess he uh, wrote a, a verse for the Stax Brothers and performed it. I'm not sure if it was a special verse just for them, uh, but I think he... Uh, rehearsed it and uh, performed it just uh, at uh, the Neptune, or uh, yeah, the Neptune, or the Nectar rather, not the Neptune, the Nectar. Uh, so uh, it went over pretty well, there's be some footage, some live footage of that coming. I think he's going to put it out on his uh, channel, but I might run it in uh, part of the live performance. Uh, caught quite a bit of footage from the Stax Brothers and then King Youngblood, and then there was another band there, I didn't quite get the name of them, but uh, three acts that we, cap we uh, saw there while we were there. I guess they had more opening acts that we missed, but uh, quite an event, a sold out event at the Nectar Lounge downtown Seattle. Uh, that's kind of uh, the home of Mojam, Mojam Mondays. And, uh, they, Mo and the, the company, the group there, puts on quite an event every Monday. So it's uh, been fun. We've gone up there and uh, Tori's kind of introduced me to that world. So uh, it's cool to be back there and seeing what it's like on a, um, on a Saturday night. Uh, not a Monday this time, but uh, a sold out show on a Saturday. So uh, they got quite a, a, quite a club up there and uh, it's going well for them. It Here's a like. look at that King Youngblood footage. Uh, got quite a few nice clips. Uh, so I'm going to put that video together and hopefully get that published tonight. If you search my channel by King Youngblood, looks like I have three videos up now featuring them. Uh, so they'll be the this will be the fourth piece of, piece of content. It looks like uh, King Youngblood actually does have a YouTube channel. They have 1.38 thousand followers. So if you want to follow them, you can uh, check that out and join their journey as well. If you search King Youngblood on YouTube, you'll see all kinds of stuff up here. Um, all kinds of stuff. But this is the main channel. It looks like, look for that logo. Yeah, it looks like their last video release was cried in my Cadillac it was a an interesting video I watched that and shared it on my chat on my uh, YouTube page no my Facebook page so you guys may have seen that come through the the mix this is what that uh, thumbnail for that uh, video looks like if you want to check it out check this out they actually have their own big uh, web page kingyoungblood.com check that out you can meet them all and see some live video performances up there on their site yeah, I guess uh, Cameron Lavi Jones is the name of the frontman, um, and all of them are kind of uh, exciting uh, musicians. Uh, it's quite a show collectively, but uh, he's quite a sight to see. So those uh, salmon eggs you saw are steelhead. They, I think they came from a steelhead. My uh, my uh, was it my nephew? Yeah, my nephew uh, Anthony caught one, and we got that steelhead. Anthony came home with us and. Uh, 
my wife cooked these uh, eggs up, so I'm gonna try these. Uh, let me give you a look at how she cooked them. So it looks like she fried them up kind of well done almost. Instead of give a little crunch factor, so we'll see how those taste. So this is the life of a reseller, right? You, you take a nap and then you wake up and you get served uh, salmon eggs, steelhead eggs. Let's try these. Mm. Pretty tasty. It's got a little crunch, like you, like she said. Not a bad little snack. I like it. All right, I just finished putting together that uh, King Young Blood video. I'm gonna put that up on my channel, my YouTube channel, so you guys can check that out uh, after you're done watching this one. It was a nice little performance. I think it was 23 minutes of footage or something like 20 plus minutes. So. Uh, had some great ones. That uh, closer was great. You'll want to watch to the end to hear that one. Um, they rock pretty hard, so uh, you want to watch it all the way through. Here's a little sneak peek at uh, Cameron uh, doing his thing up there, the front man of King Youngblood. Definitely worth a watch. So now reality of a reseller sets in. I gotta uh, keep up with what's going on online. Uh, had six sales it looks like. Oh, uh, I was busy all day yesterday and this morning catching up on things, uh, taking that long nap, but uh, let's take a look and see what sold. Here you see it's six sales for $138.51. 138.51 for six sales. It's not a bad dollar amount. We want that average sale price to be up and it uh, looks like some of those newer listings that I put up uh, this last week uh, have started to sell, so that's good news. My, my hard work is paying off. Let's take a look. First item sold for $21.64. It's an Eyes on the Blue V-neck sweater shirt, long sleeve, large, men's solid top cotton. So a nice looking sweater. I listed that one December 1st, so it only took 20 days to sell. That's the kind of uh, sell through we want. Uh, quick and easy like that. An item to sell sold for $25.12. It's an HO scale Bachman Santa Fe diesel locomotive engine chain model toy train so speaking of quick and easy and a fast sale that one was just listed yesterday it took one day to sell that was one of the items of the nicer items I got one of my junk drawer lot the online arbitrage videos I'm doing picked that up in a junk drawer lot looked it up it looks like it was worth between 20 and 30 dollars and I was right on sold for 25 so uh, we got that market value I priced it right and it sold so uh, don't sleep on the train stuff look at it if you see train stuff at the thrift pick it up look at this one uh, Santa Fe it's the number 307 some of them sell for even more money but this one uh, was between 20 and 30 dollars we looked it up to check the comps and we got just that 25 dollars i actually priced that one a little bit under market value hoping for a quick sale i priced it 16 dollars and 97 cents so that was a suggested price by ebay so that's kind of nice when they do suggest a market value for you you don't have to do the guesswork but i did look up the comps and they are going from uh, 20 to 30 so $16.97 plus shipping, that puts you right at that $25 right range. Third item that sold, sold for $22.39. It's a lot of four vintage lighters, Winston, Camel, Gray, White, Collection, Collectible, that's the keywords so I use. Those were just some old lighters that I got somewhere along the line at one of the storage units. I had them sitting in a box, uh, grouped them up. I usually try to list them individually, but I decided to group those up and get them gone. Took one day for that to sell as well, so some quick sales this uh, this uh, Sunday morning. Well, it's actually Sunday night, but it uh, feels like morning since I just got up from that nap. Fourth item to sell sold for $36.30. Uh, it's a lot of two Lennox portrait gallery picture frames, heart shaped, three by three. By one. Again, those are some uh, frames that I got in one of the junk drawer lots, uh, one of the online arbitrage purchases I made a while back. Um, I knew the Lennox sell, sold well and I saw those two Lennox fr frames in the lot photos and uh, so I picked that lot up and uh, that one sold, uh, paid off. $36 and change, so not too bad. This one sold for $11.26. It's a stainless steel retro skull angel wings gothic style pendant necklace, 1.5 inches. That's just for the pendant. It goes on a necklace there. Let me give you a look at the other photos. There's the back of it, and uh, there's another photo of the front uh, in uh, my hand, so it's just a small one. I listed that pendant on the 19th, and here it is the 21st, so it took two days to, sail the, uh, to sell. The others took a day, but this one took two days, but uh, that's not too bad. We can wait two days. That's when you're waiting years, that's when you have a problem. So these 
quick sales are what we want. Flip it, get it sold fast. Finally, we had a, a sixth item, a 2180. This pair of pants sold. It's a pair of blue flat front dress pants, size 32 waist by 30 inseam, work right benchmark. So those were just some work pants. We listed December 1st, uh, took 20 days to sell. So a lot of these were listed within the last month, almost all of them it looks like. Um, so that's good to see those quick sales and uh, items moving and flowing through the store. So I'm going to go ahead and collect those six sales from the inventory and then, then I'm going to give you a special look at another item. Uh, another one came in the mail. I'll give you a sneak peek. It down. is. It's another junk drawer lot. We're going to do another online arbitrage video. So we got faked out once again. I thought it was a package for me. Turns out it was for the wife, a 50th birthday present. Oh, I'm not supposed to say she's 50. She's, she's still 27, but uh, this is what she got herself in the mail. I'm gonna give you guys a look anyways. So she faked it out and said it was for me, but turns out it's a nice little Seahawks fleece for her. Look at this little NFL team apparel with the Hawks helmet and logo on the front there. Nice and soft fleece. Uh, home shopping network did you get this off the home shopping network are you addicted to the home shopping network now is that what I have to worry about she's being silent up there she's not gonna admit it but it's a nice little fleece let me show you the back I say it does look pretty comfortable you got Seattle across the back there in that lime green and blue it has open side pockets and this one is Sherpa lined I guess so there's a look at the pockets and let's see the oh there it is look at that Sherpa lining so it looks nice and soft. So a quality purchase, I guess uh, she's deserving after all these years. So she buys herself Christmas or uh, holiday gifts, birthday gifts, and I'm buying myself inventory. So that's what we got coming in the mail. Since I promised you guys a surprise, I thought I'd give you a sneak peek at this latest online arbitrage uh, purchase. They, get, they gave me a, a bundle of bubble wrap. Let's hope that there's something more than bubble wrap in here. Oh yeah, here we go. This one has a, this bubble has a little action in it. So uh, we'll get into this. This is coming from New York City, this one to, today. So uh, some new inventory. I'm going to get through it, do that to online arbitrage video. So for those of you who just follow the vlog, the daily vlog, I also do online arbitrage videos and Brian reads the news. Those are kind of my two segments. Uh, online arbitrage is where I bring in some uh, junk drawer lots or other stuff that I buy online and then I flip it back online. I show you everything I get and then we look for some treasures that we can make some decent money on. So you'll hear me talk about that, uh, like that Lennox came from an online arbitrage purchase. Uh, what else today? Oh, there was uh, that train, that little Santa Fe train, that was an online arbitrage purchase. Some of these items are starting to sprinkle their way into my inventory and get onto my uh, into my eBay stores and actually make some quick sales so hopefully we get another uh, batch of that from uh, this box here if you want to join that uh, adventure that discovery that little treasure hunt uh, search for those online arbitrage videos or look for those on my channel right, we're 60 percent complete with king youngblood video it's going up uh well, Cameron's rocking his heart out there. The crowd is loving it. Look at that. But I still have to go find those six items. So that's what I'm up to next. Like I said, I'm going to go grab those uh, six items. We'll get shipping labels on those and uh, get them ready to drop off Monday at the post office. Uh, it'll be nice to uh, get back to regular uh, scheduled um, routine after such a busy day yesterday and uh, catch up day uh, today um, tomorrow will, will be a nice one All right through the magic of video there they appear six orders ready to get shipping labels put on them and get them ready for the customer let's do it here come those labels ready for the packages let's do it all right we got six orders ready for the to tote let's count them off one two Three, four, five, and the delicate one, six. There we go, six orders ready for While customers. While I'm in packing mode, I figure I might as well log into the small store, see if we had any uh, sales in there the other day. I did uh, pack up orders before I left in the morning, uh, so maybe uh, something came in. Let's take a look. Watching a little Tucker Upper. He's got to make a decision on a box. Looks like a Maxim magazine there, Tucker. What you doing there in the storage it's unit? It's cool to see some of these uh, resellers online uh, get big uh, storage units like that and uh, do some uh, um, storage unit clean outs, uh, have a space to work in. I've thought about doing that once I get back into the storage unit game this spring but uh, I'm not sure it's cost a lot of money but uh, like Tucker uh, Turner says uh, you can get that first month free which makes it kind of nice but after that it's you know a, a paycheck of 
payment of three hundred to four hundred dollars sometimes if you get a big unit like that to work out of um, sometimes some units are less but uh, if you want the nice ones or the heat controlled ones you gotta pay up a little bit so no sales out of the small store today just one question a uh, pair of shorts they were wondering if they had side pockets of course it says in the description that these shorts have open side pockets but uh, people often neglect to read descriptions and they shoot you messages so I just messaged them back yes they do have side pockets and uh, sent them an offer a little bit below asking price so hopefully they jump on those and we make a sale out of it uh, sometimes it's, that's what you gotta do is uh, just answer the question don't make a big deal about it don't uh, don't make a they make a fuss when they ask a question that's already answered in the description just uh, give them a double down on the information and make sure they know what they, they do have what they're looking for so Hopefully that leads to a sale. Yeah, we'll uh, we'll see. So we got this box. Oh, there was all that bubble wrap in there. I put it all, took it all out of the bubble wrap. It's gonna be my latest online arbitrage video. It's all in here except for these two little letter openers. That'll be your sneak peek at what's in this lot. Um, they gave us those two little letter openers. Those were in uh, bubble wrap separately. So I'm gonna record that online arbitrage video now. Uh, once you guys are done watching this uh, day in the life vlog, uh, go ahead and watch that video. It'll be a fun one for you guys to take in and uh, see what I got in this uh, junk drawer lock. You guys don't like that one? We got King Youngblood, the live performance. Let's see, yeah, 23 minutes and 29 seconds. There's that uh, thumbnail. That might be a good one to go with. We got Cameron there rocking out. This is usually the big decision I have to make on here. I usually just go with the uh, thumbnails they suggest. They have three here, so you saw that one. They also have this one. Oh, that one's not as strong, I think. Or this one. That one's pretty nasty. He's got a cool look on his face there. So either that one or that one. That one has his uh, bandmate there kind of swinging his braids. Um, I don't know, I'll have to make a decision, but uh, I think the close-up of uh, Cameron is probably the, be the one that'll get uh, more clicks, so I'm gonna go with that. So yeah, I know thumbnails are important, and uh, people say, you know, that's almost more important than the content if you want success on YouTube, but I just haven't gotten into creating uh, creative uh, thumbnails yet. I uh, haven't really gotten into that yet, uh, so that will come with time. Eventually I'll get into doing those fancy thumbnails and to hopefully get more views on my videos but right now we're just concentrating on uh, getting monetized and you can only put so much time into all this so uh, we're putting the content out there hoping people will watch it and uh, eventually we'll get monetized and then the efforts will uh, increase. Once I publish I like to share on X aka Twitter and uh, Facebook. I don't really worry about the rest of them. Those are the two that I'm kind of uh, associated with and uh, so I share those on there. Of course the best way to be notified is to ring that notification bell. So if you haven't done that, when you subscribe you just hit that notification bell. Then you get notified of all the videos as soon as they drop. You don't have to worry about checking Facebook or checking X and Twitter. It's hard to call it X, checking Twitter. Alright, it's a little after 11 o'clock now. I just finished up uh, editing my last online arbitrage video. Uh, I'm gonna call an end to the vlog today. It's been a long one, uh, trying to get everything organized from a busy weekend. Uh, spent a lot of time uh, down south, like I told you guys, uh, on a lot of different ventures. The wedding, the video shoot, the, the live music there at the, uh, the Nectar Lounge was uh, great. i uh, got one of those videos up now. King Youngblood performed. That was the first one that I put up there. I've got a couple more coming, so uh, stay tuned for more live music on the channel. But uh, Tonight I'm going to try to get this online arbitrage video and then um, tomorrow morning this one will go up, this uh, day in the life vlog. I'm trying to keep these uh, reseller vlogs, day in the life of a reseller, keep them going every morning, posting them up. I have quite a, posting them up I said, I have quite a uh, streak going so I'm trying not to break my streak. This week one was a, the weekend was a bit of a challenge since I had so much going on but I got one up today. It was a little late coming, but uh, it was up there. Uh, tomorrow I should uh, be back on my regular schedule in the morning, I edit it up and get this one posted. But uh, thank you for your patience with all of this. If you're new to the channel, I want to thank everybody for joining. I'm trying to get to that 1,000 subscribers, so uh, thanks for coming along for the journey. I'm probably officially one uh, quarter of the way there. I think I just crossed my 50th subscriber. Um, and uh, I'm trying to get correction. Um, it's it's late, like I said, 250th subscriber, so uh, it's late. Um, 
just crossed that 250 subscriber threshold and I'm over a thousand hours so I'm over one quarter of the way there headed towards halfway to being monetized that's the goal in the next year is to get the channel monetized so we can try to do some fun new things uh, I mean we're doing a lot already we're doing uh, uh, storage cleanouts we're doing uh, junk drawer boxes uh, online arbitrage we got the day in the life vlog every morning we got uh, live music we got uh, photos and videos and all kinds of good stuff and there'll be more coming in the new year but uh, today we got three pieces of content up uh, so not too bad considering I uh, took a nap halfway through and uh, slept away most of the day and got a late start um, but uh, we got some uh, work done and uh, tomorrow we'll refocus on eBay uh, get some more listings up uh, pack up whatever sold overnight and uh, let you guys know all about it of course so uh, thank you for sticking with me and watching this one to the very end uh, we'll catch you on the next one thanks for watching Bye.